Log Talk Radio. sanctified church that must be uh, within the context of a separated people that we can reflect God's glory. Now again, in the book of Romans, and we're trying to show tonight Amen. that many people have gone astray mm -hmm. because they have not been correctly taught the word truth. Right, Rob. The Holy Ghost comes to guide and lead in all truth. <clears throat> And the Bible says, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, which yes. is the Holy Ghost, he is not of his. Yeah. So we say to those agnostics and those, uh, those who want to mock the Word of God and His spiritual kingdom, uh, we say that you need to take notice in these very difficult days. We see how uh, the gasoline prices Amen. are going so high. Yes. And working class people, it is impossible for them to right, maintain right. this type of standard. Yes. Yet with the minimum wage, uh, people making averaging less than $8 an hour or right around $8 an hour. You cannot make it on $8 an hour. You cannot uh, uh, support Amen. a family on $9 an hour. No, you might can get back uh, at $10 an hour if you really cut a fine line. Yes, but again, brothers and sisters, all of this is because of greed. Yes. There is no gasoline shortage, right, but they use uh, uh, certain events in the world to try to make you think that there is some type of uh, a situation that could change the flow of the gasoline that they pump from the ground. That's nonsense. Yes. Hey, Amen. That's just like... Uh, uh, me arguing with the grocery stores, so therefore there ain't no groceries. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we have to understand the trick of the devil. It's all to exploit working class people. They yes. create scenarios because they want to raise the gasoline prices. And they raise the gasoline prices because they know working class people are going to pay. Right. If they raise it to $10 a gallon, you're still going to have to pay if you want transportation to and from your job. 
So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, unless we can come back to God, and you cannot come back to God wrongly interpreting the scripture and living in a way that some hypocrite preacher tells you when in fact you are living in error of the scripture. Yes. So we are here to try to bring a people into a full understanding that there is a correct pathway yes. to follow and that is backed up in the holy word of God. Now in the book of Romans in chapter 10, it states in verse 1, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Now Paul is speaking about those who practice Judaism and have rejected the Christ. Now Judaism is fine until the Christ came. But when Christ came, he brought in a new covenant. Now everyone must submit to the New Testament covenant in order to be saved. Now Paul says, my heart is die and pray, prayer to God for Israel that they might be saved. In other words, there is a question as to whether or not they are saved. Now he goes on to say in verse 2, I bear them record, they have a zeal of God or they're really on fire to go to church and they want to go to church. They love to worship and praise God, but what good is it praising God if you don't know who God is? Amen. What, how, what, what difference does it make if you go to church and you can't uh, have an understanding of the church that you're in. See, so now. here Paul is giving a distinct warning to the New Testament church. They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge or not according to correct teaching. So we are here today to give the correct knowledge or the correct teaching that a traveler along life's highway might come in out of doctrine and be yeah. saved yeah. before it's too late. Yeah. If you have correct teaching, then you will have a life that exemplifies correct teaching. But if you've got false teaching, as, as we've shared many times with uh, this singer, Whitney Houston, Amen. if you've got false teaching, then you're going to follow a false pathway. And I want to say clearly for the record, uh, T.D. Jakes, you can say whatever you want to say, and you can bring 10 uh, positive things that Whitney Houston did, but I'm going to show you just two things <laughs> that she did that will cause her not to go to heaven. That's right, Robert. Amen. And one is a drunkard. And the other one is a fornicating That's spirit. Right, if you're a drunkard and you're a fornicating spirit, uh, you're not going to heaven. Yeah. You're not going to God's heaven. And T.D. Jakes, I don't think you have a heaven to put anyone in. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So we're here to uh, put the record straight. Amen. To correct the error that is being taught today. Whitney Houston, according to the word of God, is waiting for the judgment so that she can step into the lake of fire yeah. and not go to the eternal kingdom of heaven. Again, with that in mind, let's go to our panels. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, true life. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Give the honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Amen. Give the double honor to our prophet, Prophet Walker. Amen. 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 Give the honor that is due today. Yes. I thank God that I'm at the right place at the right time, yes. at the right church, following the true leader. Yes. There's so much disrespect, so much blasphemy that's going out in these false churches today, and all these people claiming they're saved and got the Holy Ghost. But the Bible states clearly, you know, who got the Holy Ghost and who don't have the Holy Ghost. Now, in Romans 8 and 9 states that whoever have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. I thank God, true light, we have the Spirit of Christ on today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, I want to go to Isaiah chapter 30. I'm going to pick up in verse 8. Now, this is concerning, you know, everything in this Bible is written for instructions for us to follow in order to prove whether or not that you are saved or not. Now in verse 8 it says, Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be the time to come forever and ever. Everything that is written in this book is instructions of God to follow in order to inherit to the kingdom of God. Now you see the blasphemy and the disrespect uh, today, you know, in these churches, you know, people claim that, uh, that they say preachers preaching false doctrine. You know, people, you know, living in sin and believe in all their heart that they say, but according to the word of God, they're not. So people on where YouTube, you need to understand one thing. It doesn't matter, you know, what type of talent you may have had or no matter how much people liked you or what type of popularity that you may have uh, accomplished. But if you refuse to submit to the power of God, you, it's, it's absolutely impossible to inherit the kingdom of heaven. The only way you can inherit the kingdom of God 
is through obedience yes. to the scripture. Yes. Now, we've been Amen. pointing out this uh, so-called superstar, Whitney Houston. And everybody know her condition. You know, a lot of people said she had her trials and tribulations, but this woman wasn't saved in the first place. You've got to keep that in mind. Amen. This is a woman that grew up in a false church, grew up in false religion, and then got out into the world and did worse than she did when she was in the false church. She got into drugs, fornication, drinking, I mean, committing adulteries. Now, you see, in all these churches, you see children being, you know, gravitate to this woman, want to be like her. But who want to be like a woman that want to inherit the kingdom of God? Who want to be like a woman that lives her life like a devil? Being a junkie, doing drugs, who want to be like that? Bible said raise the children up the way they should go. It's only one way. Amen. And that's through holiness. So keep that in mind. This woman ain't no hero. Yes. This right, woman man. ain't. Yeah. Who, who is she? This ain't nothing special yeah. about this woman. Yeah. All you got to do, common sense to tell you. All you got to do is line up this woman <laughs> with the word of God. And you know, you got these preachers like T.D. Jakes, like Prophet brought out. I just so happy to run into a video that he tried to preach this woman, trying to uh, defend Whitney Houston talking about well she had talent but yeah she was tormented and he was just saying all type of vain stuff that make no sense but basically overall he's trying to take up for her. what kind of integrity right. of a preacher yes. would take up for a sinner no good well ain't going to heaven Amen. that preacher's going to... <laughs> you gonna pray a devil into... first of all she dead already judgment Amen. already sealed on her now we revealed in the scripture that she was a fornicator, she was a drunkard, Amen. and she was abusive of her own self. Amen. Now, why were preachers like Al Sharpton, so-called reverends like Jesse Jackson, T.D. Jakes, and all the rest of them, say yes. that she was a nice woman, uh, you know, she was famous, she had a good, beautiful voice, but what about her lifestyle? Yes. The Bible says, by their fruit, ye shall know them. Matter of fact, let's turn it real quick. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. Now, this is talking about a character. Jesus gave a very powerful teaching. Amen. Let's see here. Now, it says in verse 16, Ye shall know them by the fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Yeah. Now, what Jesus is trying to say right here, if you're a Christian, you got to live it. If you a devil, you're going to live like a devil. Now, verse 18, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Amen. I don't care how much you, how beautiful your voice, how loud you can sing, but if you're living a life that's ungodly, you're not holy, you're not separated, you're not saved, and you do not have the spirit of Christ. Amen. Now, let's see. Every tree, well, let me hold on. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Again, it's impossible for a person that's living a life of sin to be Christian, Amen. to be saved. Now, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is healed down and cast into the fire. I hope y'all people hear me, y'all celebrities and all y'all uh, want to be Christians. Amen. If y'all continue to live a life of sin, it is absolutely impossible to inherit the kingdom of God. So y'all best bet to do is, y'all need to repent and come out of this Hollywood Superstar, man, that ain't nothing but sin. Amen. It ain't nothing glamorous about yeah. being a superstar. And how, it ain't nothing but sin. Amen. Now, let me bring this out. This funeral, I seen this funeral with uh, Whitney Houston. And all the big time superstars was there. The rappers, hip hoppers, the singers, all the most famous people that sold the most records. They was all up there trying to root Whitney Houston. Well, she's a nice, beautiful woman. But let me ask you a question. When she was Shooting up the, the coat. Where were they at? Right at that time. Yeah. They were doing the same thing, living like devils. Yeah. In the clubs. Uh, Ray J fornicating with some girl on camera. Amen. Tyler Perry, he called himself trying to preach this woman into heaven. He's somewhere cross dressed, looking like a sissy. Amen. Right. TJ's Jason already telling people David Johnson has some my relationship. Amen. Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton somewhere being hypocrites. Yes. Right. Well, they, they wouldn't even think about Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden she died. Oh, God is love. Mm -hmm. Oh, God is grace. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you can't mark God's grace like that. Amen. God gives grace to everybody, but you have to keep in mind 
God has a timetable where he comes in and cuts off. Amen. And Whitney Houston had plenty of chances. Right. This woman grew up in the church. Now, it may not be in a true holy church, but she had the opportunity to hear the prophet. She maybe had. I don't know. Ain't tell her. She, she had plenty of opportunities to change her life. That's right. She had plenty of opportunities to stop the lifestyle that she was doing. Even her mother tried to reach out to her, tell her, you know, stop this madness. Stop what, what you're doing. Whitney Houston just wasn't listening. And it got up to a point that God had to step in and take her out. So people, all the celebrities, all you Hollywood superstars, y'all need to take heed to this woman's death. Amen. Same thing that happened to her, the same thing that can happen to you if you do not repent and run to a true holy church. I ain't say walk to it. I ain't say come to play. I say run to a true holy right. church. Amen. The time is way too short. Yes. Too many people playing games with the word of God. Too many people blaspheming the word of God. But nevertheless, God has a few people that will stand up and hold up the Bible standard, no matter what may come against us. Amen. And I thank God for our true prophet of the Lord. They get this strong in the faith. Strongest prophet of God I've seen ever in the world. These T.D. Jakes and all these other preachers ain't got no backbone at all. Caught up in popularity. Who cares about popularity? Holiness is not popular. Jesus wasn't even popular. He preached a sermon. Only 12 was left. And Jesus said, well, you gonna leave? He said, no, I ain't gonna leave. You, you got to wait till you turn around. We gonna follow after you. Amen. And this dispensation of time, this is true life. We gonna follow the prophet, Amen. even though all Amen. the people Amen. despise the prophet. Amen. Talking bad about the prophet, but we the ones that's holding on. We the ones that say, Prophet, you praise God, your teachers got the way to, to eternal life. Right. We're gonna follow after you. We're gonna obey your teachings. We're gonna do as Amen. we told to do. Amen. Now let's go to Jude chapter one. I'm gonna pick up in verse three. And it says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should be earnestly content for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Like I said, we got a big job to do, to do today. You know, all the criticism and disrespect, but again, God got a church that he has called to defend his faith. Amen. So church, keep in mind, let's continue to defend the faith. Let's continue to point these devils out. Right. And again, Whitney Houston is not no hero. She is a devil. You can email Prophet all of them hate letters all you want. You can disrespect the Prophet, disrespect True Light all you want. Mm -hmm. But in this word, don't change a thing. Amen. This Bible is forever. Yeah. It never fades away. It, the Bible said in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. It's in the word. Amen. She ain't gonna make it. Now we're not judging from ourselves. We judging the, we telling what they said the Lord. Amen. A lot of people say, well, you judging it. Why are you judging this woman? She was a good singing artist. That's what the Bible said. Amen. Did not the Bible say a uh, fornicator, drunkard, should not inherit the kingdom of God? Amen. All we're doing is taking the scripture and pointing out the error of the individual. That's all we're doing. But we get persecuted when we point out error. Talking about we can't judge. And who is we to judge? We preachers of the Lord. Amen. That's who we are. We, set, we sanctify. We set. That's who we are. Pray my strength of the Lord. Amen. Man, Praise the Lord, church. Amen. 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 It was a great time tonight. Amen. 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 We're in a safe place tonight. Amen. It feels good to be in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. With that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Jesus Christ, who is the Most High God. Amen. 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 Double honor to our leader and prophet Amen. H. Walker, a true man of God, a courageous man of God. Amen. He's not a hypocrite. Amen. Amen. He's, a, he's the real deal. Amen. 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 To all the saints of God, greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say we're in a safe place. Yeah. Amen. We're protected by way of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Around our homes, around our vehicles. Amen. When we walk, when we go here, when we go there. And it feels good. We're living holy. Amen. Amen. We can hold our heads up with confidence. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have just any type of confidence. We don't have a worldly type of confidence, but we have Christ confidence. Amen. See, that's the difference. Amen. Amen. You look at all the destruction in the world today. I was looking on TV how these tornadoes are just uh, yeah. taking over Indiana and, and Alabama and, and various cities and states. Amen. But it hasn't come nigh to us. Amen. Amen. And we don't got nothing to worry about. Yeah. Amen. But this is all a result of the judgment of God. 
Amen. And look at the status of America. Yeah. Amen. It's absolutely disgusting from what we see on television, yeah. on the radio, when we go to the grocery store, people are, are, are half dressed, showing their body parts and what have you. Yeah. Amen. This is ridiculous. Amen. But I thank God that there's a separation. Yeah. There's a difference when you're in holiness. And we have that here at True Life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And like it was brought out, we are, see, the thing is this, one is a Christian who is one inwardly, amen, it's inwardly, yeah. they have an outwardly profession of being a Christian, maybe they wear a gold cross around their neck or a big old hat or what have you, but it's an inward thing, you have to have the quality of character, amen, you have to have the fruits of the spirit, yeah. amen, in order to truly, sincerely run this race. And I thank God that's taught by Prophet H. Walker yeah. here at True Life. Amen. There's no more excuses in the world. The reason we have a right to judge is because we're living holy. We're living holy lives. We're living pure lives just as he was pure. Just as Jesus Christ when he walked in the flesh lived a pure life. Amen. And he was God manifest in the flesh. Hallelujah. So I want to pick up a little bit today, our focal point, yes, we're bringing up Whitney still. Amen. Amen. Because everybody saw the funeral. A lot of people saw. Everybody know who she was. She was kind of like the queen of pop. Mm. Amen. And we saw all the uh, false pastors and false prophets uh, preaching her into heaven at a funeral. Amen. Amen. But that has nothing to do with the apostles' doctrine. All right. Yeah. Because you can't live an unholy life and make it into heaven. Yeah. You can't yeah. inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Amen. So I'm saying... I get sick of people saying, oh, you can't judge, you can't judge. Man, they're quick to say that. But they don't know that, that we live in holy. So we got a right. What does it say? Preach the word, be instant in season. We're supposed to reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Because the time will come when they won't endure sound doctrine, but will heap up to themselves teachers having itchy ears. All right. That's why they listen to the Creflo Dollar message or the T.D. Jakes message. Because they preach an it's an ear message. What you want to hear. Right. Prosperity, having a lot of money. Amen. Keeping up with these neighbors and that neighbors and getting a brand new car and all this madness. God wants you to prosper uh, from a spiritual aspect. Yeah. And that your soul prosper. And yes, that you be in good health. Yeah. That's the difference. Amen. Amen. So let me tackle this about this whole judging thing. Amen. And first I'm gonna start off in Romans chapter two mm -hmm. and at verse twenty nine real quick. It says, But he is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Yes. And circumcision is that of the heart. Mm -hmm. In the spirit. And not in the letter. Whose praise is not of men. Yes. But of God. Right. We don't care about the popularity. Praise from men. We care about our character. Before the sight of God. We care about putting a smile. On God's face. Yeah. We don't care about popularity. In the mainstream here at True Life. And God for what we don't care about that either. We don't care about your fame or your fortune. Hallelujah. Like the false prophets do, like uh, uh, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. See, that's the difference. Amen. And all these uh, uh, fake Jews of Hollywood in the movie industry. No, them are fake Jews. Amen. We're real Jews and real Christians. Amen. So this whole judging thing. Let me tackle this real quick in uh, Romans chapter 2 and that verse 1 again. Therefore thou art inexcusable, old man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges doeth the same things. So we're not going to preach it. You shouldn't steal and then go steal. Because if you do, you condemn yourself. That's just what the Bible said. That's the difference. There's, we're not under hypocrisy. We're under a true man of, like Prophet H. Walker, amen, amen. who tells us to combine our faith with our works, amen. put our faith in action by way of good deeds. Yes. That's the difference. Right. Amen. It says this, but we, two and two of Romans, but we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. What things? Fornication, uh, drunkenness, amen. amen, and the whole the list goes on. It says, "And thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things, and doest the same? Thou shalt escape the judgment of God, 
Whitney Houston couldn't escape the judgment of God trying to sing, yes, Jesus loves me. Well, if he loves you so much, why are you predestined for the lake of fire? Amen. If he loved you so much, you can't escape the judgment of God. That's right. Amen. And says, or the, verse 4, or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering? Whitney Houston had many a time to repent and to change her life. I believe she was in and out of rehab. She should have got serious. Even if she was in that uh, fake church, after a while, it, it would have been better off. After a while, if she was a sincere seeker of the truth, she would have found prophet. Amen. She right. would have found the holiness church. Amen. That's how all of us are in here now because we were sincere in our hearts. Yes. We were sincere seekers of the truth. You can't count, uh, you can't take God's forbearance and his long suffering as a small thing because he don't want anybody to perish. But that everybody come to the knowledge of the truth found in the holy word of God properly interpreted. Amen. Knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Amen. It's the goodness of God that, that we didn't die when we was out there chewing up pills and drinking and what have you. And everything else we did. Amen. Amen. But after thy hardness and imputed heart, treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. So I thank God that we're in the right place at the right time. Amen. Amen. Let's stay encouraged and be blessed. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Now, keep in mind, you know, love is proven by actions. Yeah. Love is proven by obedience. A lot of people say how much Whitney loved the Lord and all that stuff, but her lifestyle yeah. proved that she hated God. That's right. Now, with that in mind, I want to go to John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what Jesus told to his disciples. Now, pay close attention to this. That y'all watching on YouTube, listen to the scripture. Now, watch this. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our bond with him. Mm -hmm. That means if you love him, you will keep his word. That's right. You'll be obedient. When correct teachings come to you, you don't be being hard headed. And coming against the word of God. You will submit to the word of God. If you love God. Now verse 24. He that loveth me not. Keepeth not my sayings. The word which ye hear. Is not mine. But the father which sent me. This is God's word. Amen. Whitney Houston has proved through her life. Amen. That she do not love God. She hates God. Which makes her enemy of God. Now, it don't matter. Your fame and your singing don't mean two cents. Amen. If you ain't living according to the Holy Amen. Spirit, Amen. you're still going to hell. Yeah. What difference does it make? Yeah. Right. Now, I want to go back to uh, Matthew 7. I want to pick up in verse 21. It said, Now everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, I just explain. God's will is for us to obey and follow after his instructions in order to inherit the kingdom of God. If we don't do this, it is impossible, people, to inherit the kingdom of God. In verse 22, many, not few, many people, oh, hallelujah, many people, many will say to me in that day, judgment day, Lord, have not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name, there are many wonderful works. Oh, did I sell a lot of CDs? Did I go to church every Sunday? Oh, did I know Al Sharpton? Amen. Did I know Jesse Jackson? Did I, I was loved by a whole lot of people. I sold a lot of songs and I went platinum and people loved my movies. I even did a Christian movie, uh, uh, Sparkle. I did a Christian movie named Preachers. Preacher's wife. Oh, why? Uh, I'm a Christian, Lord. I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm saved. But what did Jesus going to say to her? Oh, my goodness. And then what I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. See, Whitney Houston and any, uh, well, she did, but trying to bring attention to those that's viewing. Now, even though she may have did these Christian songs, even though she made some, a few gospel songs and did a few movies, Amen. she was still living 
a world, a life full of sin. Yes. She was still doing the drugs, yes, in and out of rehab, mm -hmm. drinking, doing, living like a devil, doing whatever, you, whatever she wanted to do, whatever the devil told her to do. Mm -hmm. People, y'all need to wake up. Time is getting very close. Amen. You need to take the word of God very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. God is not playing with his word. Amen. He's not going to compromise this God. He's no respect of person. He don't care who you are. He don't care how famous you are. How many people love you. Who you ate with. Uh, what church you went to. Amen. It don't matter. Yeah. It don't mean two cents. God only cares about people that love him. That willing to obey him. That willing to obey his word. And then not the Bible said, what good does a prophet a man yes. if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Amen. What good that uh, Whitney Houston, what good is it for her? She saw all them records, got all that fame, all them people loved her, and she's still going to hell. Amen. What good is it? That's right. It ain't no good. So people, keep in mind, it's all about what you do for Jesus Christ before you leave this earthly plane. I believe Joe said, naked that I came and naked I shall depart. Mm -hmm. You ain't brought nothing in this world, you ain't going to take nothing out. Mm -hmm. The only thing you're going to have with you is your testimony mm -hmm. of how you gave your life to the Lord. And if your testimony did not line up with this word, it's just like in the Bible in the book of Matthew. You're held down and cast into the fire. So people take heed, repent, come out of that Hollywood life. Come out of that popularity. Forget about all that. Follow after God. Pick up your cross and follow after Amen. Christ. Yes. Follow a true leader. Yes. True prophet of the Lord. Prophet yes. H. Walker. Yes. Be yes. taught. Be guided. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. People don't want to be guided today. Yes. People so puffed up and big headed. Yes. You can bring Bible proof to these people and no. prove that these uh, Joel Steens and all these preachers are fake. You can bring scripture to prove that Whitney Houston. It's, it's not a Christian. They will still cuss at you. They'll mock you. Yes. They'll persecute you. Yes. They'll yes. do all things against you. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. I don't... Well, we can only do so much preaching to these people. We cannot preach to people that is not receptive to the Word of God. So those that are viewing on way of YouTube that's willing to be saved, that's willing to come out of the wickedness, repent right now and come out. Don't sit there and think about it and contemplate. You never know when Jesus Christ is going to come, come back. Amen. You never know when his return is going to be. It could be tonight. You may be watching this video and you sitting there thinking about, well, I might get saved in another two years or maybe another two months. It may not be another two months. It may not be that long. All this wickedness and blasphemy, all the disrespect. President Obama passing all these stupid laws trying to come Amen. against the Christian faith. God can split the sky at any moment. So people, you need to make up your mind. You need to repent of your sins and come out. Come to True Life Pentecost Church. Forget about these Baptist churches, these Methodist churches, these Catholic churches. They ain't going to teach you a thing. Come to True Life. Come underneath the true prophet. Be taught the truth. So you can be saved from the wrath of God. Because when God pour out his wrath, it's too late for forgiveness. It's too late to say, I'm sorry. It's too late, well, Lord, I messed up. It's too late for that. God is giving you a chance right now through his grace and his mercy. Same testimony to Whitney Houston. All them years, she been marking God. God been stretching out his hand. Say, come on, daughter. Come on, get saved. Come on, get saved. Still out there in that world. Amen. So God said, you know what? I'm tired of this fool. Come on here. Let's go. And where she at right now? Waiting for judgment. And you know where she's going? She ain't going to heaven. She's going straight to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again, True Light. Amen. All right, we're having a great time. Amen. Amen. Speaking the truth and being proud of that truth. Amen. Standing on holiness. We're not backing down. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. This thing is power. Amen. You know, power means authority. Sometimes we got to use that authority with these wicked devils out here, amen, because we have the power and authority to step on the devil's head, amen, amen. and trample them under our feet, so sometimes we got to use it, amen, so I thank God, amen, and uh, for this uh, time to sit up here before you, and I'm looking at so many uh, people in the world and, and, and parents who 
let the kids run the house. Uh -huh. Amen. It's absolutely ridiculous who won't, who spare the rod, but you're not supposed to spare the rod. Amen. Amen. You're supposed to uh, correct your kids. If you got to beat them with a switch, then you beat them with a switch. Amen. Amen. It's all in the Bible. Yes. Amen. And, and I'm, I'm just amazed about the whole list of their icons. Yes. Uh, 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 these, these false gods. And, all right. Uh, their idols that they look to. Amen. On down through the generations. Amen. And these so-called divas. Oh, Amen. In, in Hollywood. And in the music industry. Yeah. Diva is, a, is another name for goddess. Yes. Amen. What's happening before is happening right now. Amen. Today. I mean, you look back by way of their lifestyle. Amen. And I mean, they looked up to Elvis. Yes. But he died the same way. Yes. Amen. Amen. By way of these prescription drugs and drug abuse. Yes. And I think even Marilyn Monroe. Yes. By way of barbiturates. Yes. Or what you call muscle relaxers. Volume and what have you. Yes. You know, on down the list. Of course, Michael Jackson, Amen. the king of pop. He liked little boys. Amen. Absolute, absolutely ridiculous. Yes. Amen. And there was another one. His name was Heath Ledger. Yes. And this guy, he played in, he played the Joker, Amen. and I guess the Batman Returns. But the thing about this, well, he's gone. He dead. He, you know, he he died off a, a pharmaceutical cocktail. Yes. Because he couldn't stand the guilt. The Bible says that there is no peace for the wicked. All right. Amen. Yeah. Did you know he played in that movie Broke Back Mountain? That's right. About two sodomite cowboys. That's right. That's why he couldn't sleep at night. Amen. This dude was absolutely ridiculous. I think even one of his last roles was the Joker. Yes. And he played that role to a T because his lifestyle was nothing but a joke. Yes. Amen. And now he has to go down to a place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. And, 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 and go down there like the, the rich man uh, went down to, 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 to hell or what have you. And, 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 and uh, anyway, a place of torment. All right. The lake of fire. Yeah. Got to be a place of torment. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, who in their right mind as a man say, mm, I want to rent a movie tonight? I think I'll rent Broke Back Mountain. My goodness, man, you must be sodomitish or a sodomite if you're going to take the time to spend your money to rent some broke back mountain. Amen. Man, that's absolutely ridiculous. Amen. But he dies. See, those are his rotten fruits. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But to top it all off, Whitney Houston. And the reason she's the focal point is because, like so many in Hollywood, they call themselves Christians. Yes. Steve Harvey. And, uh -huh. I mean, you let it. Tyler Perry. Yeah. I think Tyler, Tyler Perry was the one who flew the body back with Whitney Houston in his private jet. You know, because at the end of the day, they all have the love for money, which is the root of all evil. Amen. Reverend Al Sharpton, he's sure not no reverence, not even in the Bible. The only one to be reverent is the name of God. That's right. Amen. It's God. He's reverent. Yeah. Not Reverend Al Sharpton or uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Amen. Amen. These false prophets yeah. is what they are. False preachers. Amen. Besides that, amen, uh, uh, I believe... Uh, 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 Reverend Jesse Jackson and Reverend Al Sharpton, they're none other than Prince Hall Masons anyway. But you cannot partake of the Lord's table, say you're a Christian, in the table of demons. All right. Prince Hall was the, uh, amen, Prince Hall was like, I think he was the father of black Masons. Amen. amen which the both of them are. Yeah. Amen. Nothing but Masons. They're, 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 they're a, a horrible example of, 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 of us yeah. being true Christians with the qual quality of character, no makeup. No jewelry. The women wear a head veil on their head. We don't drink. We don't smoke. We don't do nothing wrong. But try to live a holy and a pure, separated life. Yeah. That's the beauty. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I, I want to get in just briefly in this little article because, as you know, Clyde, da well, Clyde Davis. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Amen. The big time producer of Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. Now, if you were so much a friend and you love Whitney Houston. Yeah. Why are you going to invite her to a party, a, a, a woman who was trying to recover, when there's drinks and booze? Amen. That don't make no sense if you call yourself some true friend, Clyde Davis, who really is a, a fake Jew. Amen. He's a fake Jew, grew up in Brooklyn uh, uh, with, uh, I guess, so-called Jewish parents, but his fruits make him a fake Jew. You better not say he's a Christian. Amen. And these are the type of people who have the love of money, who are operating in Hollywood, in the movie industry. Nothing but Satanists or Illuminati or whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, they worship Lucifer. Yes. And it's getting worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse. Amen. It's everywhere. Amen. Now, the thing is this. They couldn't make no more money off of Whitney Houston anyway. 
because her voice was gone. That's right. I saw a clip where she was almost booed off the stage in Australia. Yeah. Sounded like she had a frog in her throat. Yeah. My goodness, it was ridiculous. I mean, you can go all do your do your research, seek, and you shall find. You, I mean, you'll find all kind of things. Yeah. Pictures where she was smoked out and looking like she took a blast of crack and, and what have you. And this is ridiculous. And, and, and because she didn't raise her child up in the way no. it should go, yeah. instead she let the wolves and the sharks of Hollywood yeah. manipulate her daughter. Amen. Uh, uh, Bobby Christina. Amen. I believe even uh, Celine Dion. She said, well, she don't get, she don't even, even though she need to be saved too. Yes. She yes. said she don't get caught up in going to parties and, and, and she stays at home. It was pretty smart. Amen. But Celine Dion need to get saved and I believe even Shaka Khan. She, she, she had recently said something about, she criticized Clyde Barker because uh, he, he continued to host his pre Grammy party just hours after her death. At the Beverly Hilton. These people don't care about you. They care about the almighty dollar. Amen. And what they can uh, exploit you as merchandise. Amen. Amen. So the thing is, uh, it comes down to this. If you got a talent, you got to use it for the kingdom of God. If you don't, it'll be taken from you. And we've seen that in Whitney Houston when she couldn't sing no more. Amen. Amen. It'll be taken from you. Amen. I'm going to turn here real quick. To Matthew chapter 25. And this is talking about talents. Uh, Matthew chapter 25, and I'm going to start at verse 28. And this is talking about talents. Now, a talent can even be looked at, it means money, but it can even be looked at as uh, the gift, your God given gifts from God that He gives you. Amen. We all have it. The gifts of God are without repentance. We're all born with some type of gift that we can bring to the body of Christ to make it stronger, to fight against this evil in the world today. Amen. Amen. You see it? I think I already mentioned it, but uh, Maryland just passed that uh, a same-sex marriage to be the eighth state in America. I probably already said it, but I need to say it again, because that just makes you upset. Amen. 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 It's ridiculous. Amen. Now, I'm going to talk about talents that you got to use them for the Lord. It says, uh, 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 Matthew chapter 25 and that verse... 20, uh, 28. Take therefore the talent from him. Well, her talent was definitely took from her. And Whitney yeah. Houston and others who survived by way of drugs. Amen. They can't get out of bed or they can't go to sleep without some foreign substance. That's right. It's ridiculous in Hollywood. It's so satanic. Yes. This Hollywood industry. Amen. And give it unto him which hath ten talents. Yeah. For unto everyone that hath shall be given and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable profitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. This is a place where Whitney Houston and, and, and Elvis and Michael Jackson, Heath Ledger, uh, 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 so many of them Amen. will wind up. That's right. Amen. They're going to wind up because they didn't take heed to the warning. As watchmen, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to warn the people when we see the sword coming upon the land. Amen. Amen. All these wars and rumors of wars. Amen. For a reason. Because God is mad. He's stirred up. He's upset. Yeah. The only way is the way of holiness that the church needs to go back to. Amen. We're already there, but they got to follow our example. Amen. So you need to humble yourself and come on in before it's everlasting too late. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Lord, thanks. Thank Lord. I'm glad Elder Collins brought out, you know, that she had this talent that God gave her, but the devil just took it away from her. Now, maybe about two years ago, I heard this song, well, before I get into that, uh, did this commentary to son Al Sharpton, where he was just bragging about, you know, that she did this last song contributing to God, talking about, the song was called, I Look To You. And I was like, wait a minute. I was like, this is this song I heard about two years ago. I was driving, you know, I was driving in the car, and I heard this song. I didn't know who was singing the song. It was called I Looked to, Up to You, but I didn't know who it was. I just so happened to look behind the CD thing, and it was Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, her voice sounded different. Then you sound the same. Her voice was gone. Yeah. And, you know, that goes to show you right there. I mean, her death is an example, people. You know, if you, you can have this talent that God has given you, but if you use it for the world, the devil going to let you have fun for a second. Amen. Only for a second. Yes. But when he gets through with you, going to spit you right out. Yes. That's right. Amen. Right. 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 So 
And people, you, you need to keep in mind, stop playing games. Amen. Stop taking God's love, grace, his talent. Stop taking it for granted. Use it for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Now, I want to go to uh, Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now, this is concerning these false preachers. Amen. That's blinding all these people from the truth. Now, the Spirit speaketh expressively. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It said, Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter days, in the last days, which we're in right now, Amen. some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seduce the spirits and doctrine of devils, yeah. speaking lies and hypocrisy, having a conscious seal with a hot iron. That's exactly what you are saying today. These preachers caught up in popularity. Yeah. Amen. Don't want to offend nobody. All right. Talking about, well, taking love out of context. Talking about, well, we're supposed to love everybody. Amen. No matter what type of lifestyle you may be. But then after the Bible said, love not the world. Amen. Neither the things of the world. Yeah. Any man that loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. Amen. If you love the devil, there's something wrong with your love then. Because yeah. it ain't the love of God. That's in your heart. You ain't got the spirit of Christ, uh, loving uh, devil that will come against the word of God. God called for separation. He always had a church that was separated. God ain't got uh, everybody all together. God only had His remnant separated from all these so-called false churches. Yes. That's why He called all of us to come together underneath Prophet H. Walker. Amen. So we could be that light. Yes. That's what we call true light. We lighten up the world yeah. so they can see and come in and come out of darkness. These T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollars, Joe Steens, all these people. Man, it's just, you know, it kind of ups upsets me. You know, people, you know, work so hard being prayerful, looking for the truth. I mean, seek, I mean seeking out the reading scripture, studying. I mean, being dedicated, trying to go to church and get Bible knowledge. But they run into these, these foolish preachers. Amen. And all they do is take their money. Yes. Not teach them a thing. And then what's what's what they gonna benefit? Amen. Not a thing. What these Joe things and these people that go to their churches, what they gonna benefit? Nothing. Not a thing. I spoke to somebody online concerning these preachers. They talk about, well. He exhorts, they exhort the preachers, they, they teach love and all that. But do they teach the word of God? That's the question. Do they teach doctrine? Hey, well, there ain't nothing wrong with love in the, in, put in its proper place. Yes. But you still got to tell the people the truth. If you see two sodomites, two lesbians sitting in the congregation, you ain't going to speak on this thing? You ain't going to condemn this lifestyle? What kind of preacher are you? All right. You ain't no preacher of Christ. Amen. You a preacher of the devil. I mean, it amazes me. I just seen recently Joel Stain here uh, a while back when he did this interview. Uh, he said that he wouldn't personally marry two men, but he would go to another setting where another pastor married them too. Now, what this show right here? Luke warm. Amen. Two words, Luke warm. And what did the Bible say? If you're not hot That's right. or cold, but if you're lukewarm, I speed you out of my mouth. That's the word. That's Amen. the word of God, ain't it? Amen. You can't, play, you can't play both sides of the fence. Amen. You can't call yourself being for God and then being for the world. Yeah. You can't serve two masters. All right. You love one and you despise the other. Yeah. Which one is going to be? Amen. You got to choose God. Because if you choose the world, it don't matter how much they love you and how much they say how grateful preacher that you are. Mm -hmm. If you ain't preaching doctrine, it's all in vain anyway. That's right. So preachers, you need to humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Stop telling lies. Stop being a hypocrite. No, Stop amen. being exploiters. Yes. And sell all you have and give it to the prophet of the Lord. Amen. amen. And then you'll have eternal life. Amen. Stop playing these games. Amen. That's all these preachers doing, playing games. Fooling all these people for what? Little pleasure. Food at the restaurant. Flying these million dollar jets. Let me ask you a question. What in the world, preacher? Gonna do with a million dollar jet. Mm -hmm. It's all vain. Mm -hmm. These preachers are vain. They are not preachers of the truth. They are what Jesus warned his disciples. They are false prophets. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. You know, 
if you pay attention to sheep's clothing, he's, what Jesus is trying to reveal, you know, these preachers is not going to come to you with no baggy pants, and they're not going to look evil. They're going to disguise themselves mm -hmm. as men of God. They're going to wear the sharp suits. Mm -hmm. They're going to wear the minister collars. They're going to have a big smile like Joe Stain. Oh, they're going to preach hard and sweating. Go up and down the steps and just preach their heart out. That's right. Well, what did the Bible say? Amen. By their fruit. By their lifestyle. You shall know them. Yeah. And that eliminates judgment. Well, that eliminates y'all saying we judge and all that. The Bible said by their fruit, you shall know them. Amen. All you got to do is examine them with the word of God. Amen. And you would know their lifestyle. And if it doesn't line up, you know it's not him to sin. You know it didn't come from God. So people, wake up. Leave these false preachers alone because they ain't doing you no good. Amen. All they're going to do is lead you to straight to the lake of fire. Amen. Come to the church right now and get saved. Amen. Be baptized in Jesus' name and follow after our true Latter-day Prophet. And his name is Prophet H. Walker. Be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for those wonderful comments from Elder Marshall. Yes, amen. 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 We're still having a great time. Great time. Amen. 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 Praise God. And with that... I want to touch a little bit on this, this wicked Jezebel spirit, amen, the wicked uh, diva spirit that is infecting the youth, amen, and I was stirred up recently, amen, I don't know how you couldn't be, amen, but uh, recently, I believe it was the Super Bowl for the halftime show, and you got Madonna out there dressed in these satanic costumes, amen, along with Nicki Minaj, she's another one that I want to talk about. Right. Amen. Now the thing was this. Let me show you this picture here. If y'all can get a close up on that. Got it? It's on. Oh, it's on there. Oh, praise God. Praise God. And this picture here, uh, Nikki Minaj, she's dressed in a, a red witch's dress. And she came with some man mocking the Pope. Amen. And this is absolutely ridiculous. I was stirred up. Now she did this by way of the Grammys. And the Grammys were, uh, ironically, a day after the death of Whitney Houston. And no. she's mocking God. No. Amen. No. She's very satanic. I, I, I read through the article, no. and it said that she has been involved in satanic uh, uh, activity when she was young. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the reason this is so significant at this time that she's mocking the Catholic Church, and ultimately she's mocking God because she hates God, Amen. is because the Catholic Church took such a strong stand against yeah. Uh, 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 sodomite and lesbian marriage that's right. They did take a stand right. So that's why she's doing this Not only that, she is mocking the Catholic Church Ultimately mocking God Because they have also took a strong stand Against Obama's uh, contraceptive mandate yeah. Amen So you see what she's doing She's part of their team She's part of the devil's children But she has major influence Her name is Nicki Minaj Amen and like I said, it all ties into Whitney Houston. She was some form of diva, amen, or, or, or Madonna, or Nicki Minaj, or, or, or all these so-called divas, amen. And look how they dress, so provocative, showing their flesh and cleavage or what have you. But true, men, true women of God don't dress like that. Amen. amen. Let me go to the scripture. This is how the women of true light, who have the true light, how they dress. I'm going to pick up in 1 Peter chapter 3 and that 3. Who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning or planning the hair or wearing of gold. Amen. That's any type of jewelry. Amen. amen. Or of putting on of apparel. You don't care about your fancy dress, your fancy clothes, showing your chest and all this tight pants. There's none of that in holiness. Amen. Amen. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. That means it has to be your hidden person. Of the heart. Amen. It's, it's, it's one who is a Christian who is one inwardly. It's got to be that hidden person. All right. In which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and a quiet spirit. Amen. Meek means gentle. There's nothing wrong with being gentle and quiet for a change. Amen. That's how holy women adorn themselves. Amen. Amen. Which is in the sight of God a great price. It says this. For after this manner in old time, even in the old time, the Hebrew women passed on down to the new covenant church, Christian women, how they adorned themselves and how they acted with a quality of character 
like we've been talking about tonight. Yes. Amen. For after this manner in old time, the holy women also who trust in the God adorn themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. Yeah. Amen. So I thank God that we don't count it a life thing, that we're a special people. Amen. We're a holy nation. Amen. Amen. But America has become an unholy nation. Amen. But we are a holy nation. We are the remnant. So we ought to be proud of that. Yes. And proud that we have a true man of God and prophet H. Walker. Amen. 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 We need to keep on standing up for the faith and be encouraged and be blessed. Amen. Amen. All right, the Let's turn to the book of Ezekiel. Amen. Again, uh, we are saying to those during the way of YouTube, Amen. you need to take heed to these very important teachings and understand there is a true church and there is a false church. There are saved people. Yes. Yeah. And there are unsaved people. We have to fully understand that the Word of God identifies whom you are and whom you serve. In Ezekiel uh, chapter uh, 22, let's pick right up in verse 24. Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. Now the her is the church of God. Amen. Say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed. Uh huh. Nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. Now it's talking about uh, uh, clean from sin, Amen. from a lifestyle that is contrary to the word of God. Verse 25. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. Conspiracy. A gathering of preachers yeah. who will not defend the true faith. And Amen. this is what we see today. Right, Too many coward preachers, spineless backbone preachers, who are preaching for money rather than from the glory of God. Amen. So again, brothers and sisters, we are trying to warn you too. Take heed. These are the last days. Oh, you see what is taking place. You see they're preparing a war over in the Middle East again. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. As it was in the beginning, they started their fight in the Middle East. And so shall it be at the end. And they're right now, as time fast approaches the end, fighting in the Middle East. So we have to understand, brothers, this prophecy being fulfilled. Wake up, people. Amen. Wake up. The hour is now. But you've got to make a decision to turn from a wicked way and embrace the righteousness of God and be saved before it's too late. And that's why we are bringing all of these teachings and these strong instructions for to shake up a person Amen. and to let them know there's a right way and a wrong way. And the Bible says there's a conspiracy of her preachers. Uh -huh. In the midst thereof, they are like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. Many things. people, they are taking to the lake of fire. Amen. Precious souls. A person who's born in this world is precious in the sight of God. But what you do with your life, what you do with the character of your life, Rest of the individual. Don't let no hypocrite preacher, T.D. James, Joel Osteen, uh, uh, Joyce Myers, all those Kenneth Copeland, all those demon spirits. Don't allow them to come into your heart yes. to deceive you and cause you to miss eternal life. Yes. All right, read. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law. Her priests have violated my law. God spoke against sodomy, lesbian behavior. Drug abuse, alcoholism. God spoke against this. Amen. Now, how are you going to make Whitney Houston some type of person who's going to heaven when she has violated the principles that God has and established in a moral conduct for his children? It's all about obedience. Let's close in uh, the book of Hebrews. I want to pick up right in verse uh, 14, 3 and 14. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. We are made partakers of Christ if we do something, TDJ. We got to do something. And that is to hold our confidence, which means our faith, steadfast Amen. to the end. Now drop down to chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore 
fear. Watch close, people. Watch close. Let us what? Therefore, fear, lest a promise be left us of entering into his rest. A promise left us of going to heaven. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Any of you should seem to come short. Amen. So obviously, to those who believe in once saved, always saved. <laughs> don't you don't you fall for that lie? Right, right. The Bible is very clear that any of you should seem to come short. Come short means short of the goal. What is the goal? The goal is the heavenly kingdom of God, which we all are striving for. Paul said, I strive toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. But what if he comes up short? Amen. What if any of us come up short? Amen. And again, this is why true life has been established firmly in the kingdom, the earthly kingdom, so that God can uh, transpose an individual seeking the pathway of holiness, that they can ascend to the heavenly kingdom of God and be saved. And this is what we're all about. And we hope that an honest heart will watch these discussions, watch these teachings, and change your lifestyle and follow after God. Again, so all of us from the trouble God sounds. Hear God say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. This is what we're striving for. And our labor is not going to be in vain. Amen. Some going to make it in. I heard from my heart to make it in. I hope you follow after the Lord. All of us go to the heavenly kingdom. Amen.